tallest structure in Washington, D.C. isn't a skyscraper. It's a monument to a man who's often called the father of our country. It's the first of all the memorials to be built on the National Mall, and it continues to be one of the most popular for tourists. Lauren visited it as part of our series, Washington Monuments and Memorials. As we all know, George Washington served as Commander-in-Chief of our nation's military during the Revolutionary War. In 1789, he became the very first President of the United States. At his funeral, Washington was remembered as being first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. That's why it's fitting that the Washington Monument sits right at the heart of our National Mall. The giant stone obelisk is flanked by the U.S. Capitol to the east, the World War II and Lincoln Memorials to the west, and just to the north is the White House. Construction on the monument began in 1848, but it wasn't completed until 1884. I met Bill Line from the National Park Service and asked him about the 36-year delay. The reason why it took that long is because of bureaucracy. There is infighting. Welcome to America. That's the way we do things. But not all of the delay was due to bureaucracy. If you look closely at the monument, you'll notice the stone changes color about a third of the way up. That's a reminder of one of the saddest events in our nation's history. Why does the color change? The color changes because of basically the Civil War. The Civil War, uh, starting at approximately 1860, caused a stop, a cessation in the construction of, at the Washington Monument. Construction on the Washington Monument didn't start again and didn't resume uh, until well after the Civil War uh, was over with. The monument is 555 feet tall. When it was finished, it was the tallest structure in the world. And it held that title for five years, until the Eiffel Tower was built. Thanks to a special Washington, D.C. construction law, the monument remains the tallest structure in the city, overlooking everything else. And yes, there is an elevator to take you to the top. Just be prepared to wait in line. We saw the Washington Memorial and went up in it, and the Jefferson Memorial. Which one's been your favorite so far? Oh, the Washington. Uh, it was really cool to go up and to be able to look around and see all the stuff that was around it. Why do you think it's important to have memorials to our famous presidents? because when they died, it honors them and it shows respect that we care about them. Judging from the millions of people who visit the monument each year, people certainly care a lot about our first president. I'm Lauren for Teen Kids News. Want news you can use? We've got it on Teen Kids News.